Rosie and Daddy have headed off to see Nana because we might see my parents over the Easter weekend, but we probably won't have enough time to see everybody. So Mark's taking her this weekend um, to go and visit his parents. Um, so today's video is going to be uh, the start of our Easter theme that we're doing. So I thought how I would start this video is I have a few, a few new subscribers that are asking um, if I follow like a, if I if I'm got guidelines or anything like that if I'm following anything to do these projects no um, basically I sit down and I work out what I want Rosie to learn from the project so being under school age at the moment all I want Rosie to learn about Easter is what are its what are its origins what is Easter where does it come from so obviously it has a pagan base um, what it means to different people um, that not everyone around the world celebrates Easter. Um, what Christians think Easter is as well and sort of to question like why are bunnies making eggs and do bunnies actually make eggs so the learning outcomes for this one they're not it's not academic or anything like that it's she's three and a half all I want all I want her to get out of this is I want her to have fun learn what Easter is where it came from and um, in the meantime as you'll see from my sheets through some of the activities we're doing, we will still be learning numeracy and literacy and doing some reading. So when I do my big projects or any project, I always have a learning outcome in mind. It's like when we do our money project, which I think we might do next, because it'll be a short one. Um, my main thing that I want Rosie to get out of the money project is, isn't addition and it isn't subtraction, nothing like that. I just want her to begin to recognise the different coins and to know what they are so that when I ask her to find me a 20p she'll be able to find it so that when we go to the shop and she wants to buy herself a little bag of crisps for 25p she recognises a 20p and a 5p and perhaps she'll better get it out herself now I don't know if that's too difficult for her at her age but I'm, I'm going to give it a go right and Cinderella I'm... go and look what's on your learning shelves oh, I heard you say it's an eight-year-old size so that's not even <laughs> wow not quite. It's a week half, but we're going to start our Easter activities because why not? Yep, yeah, you count them, you feed them to them, you just play with that bunny. That bunny's yours to play with this week. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, is that good? And you've got a basket to make with Daddy. We don't have to do that till after we come back and help us. Nom, 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 nom. Are you going to name the bunny? Pony. Frederick. Huh? Pony. Pony. Yeah. Frederick. Pony. It's, it's Rosie's rabbit. Rosie wants to call it Pony. So, welcome to the family, Pony. I'll try not to lose you this year, because I swear we kept the one from last year, but I just don't know where we put it. So, Rosie's going to have fun feeding Pony carrots. It's not a particularly educational activity, except maybe counting the carrots. But uh, it's nice for her to do, and it's interactive, so she'll enjoy it. So I've created this. This is for her for today. This was on her table in the thing, in the video. Before is a dot to dot of a chick, and then she can decorate it. She can use glue, feathers, whatever. Once she's joined all the dots, she can decorate it however she wants. Colour the chicks. This is the only sort of colouring that she actually does, um, and she normally just puts a line through them. But it's just, this is a very basic one. She, she's done these for ages. Then she's got a numeracy one, uh, counts all the Easter eggs. I would say she can colour the picture in, but she honestly won't. She might, she may, but at the moment she's really not into colouring. Can you count the spots on the eggs and can you match the pairs? So she's got to count like the three and the three and then draw a line to, to match them up. So that's uh, visual discrimination and counting. Um, help the Easter bunny collect all the Easter eggs. Um, and can count them as you collect them so it's a pen control sheet uh the forgotten egg the easter this i got this off uh i just i think i just googled easter sheets and this one came up uh the easter bunny forgot this egg it needs to be decorated before he comes back to collect it can you decorate this egg and make it look really amazing before anyone finds it so she'll be given glitter and ribbons and pens and stuff so she can do what she likes with that egg this one, because she is into cutting, I, cu I cut the long strip and then Rosie cuts the shorter strips and then she's going to finish the patterns off. So bunny chick, bunny chick, bunny. And then she's got to pick one. Um, and then she's also got, some of these came out a little small, this, tracing her numbers 
all the way up to 20 with the chicks and she can colour them in if she wants to as well. So those are my sheets so far for Easter. We we are going to run out of time for things because uh, Monday and Tuesday we don't have much on. Wednesday she's in Acorns all day. Thursday we've got a theatre trip. Friday is Good Friday and I think Daddy's off so we might try and go somewhere. I don't know what we're doing at the weekend then. Um, but we've only really got three, four days to do any of this in because of nursery and because of a pre-planned theatre trip. Because we'll be out most of the day for that. So, um, yeah, this doesn't need to cover a week or two weeks. This is simply until Sunday, probably. And then Sunday I'll set out, or even even next Monday. And um, I'm just going to create her a little, uh, that bucket I showed you in the last video. I'm going to put some of the shredded paper in it. And I'll stick, um, like, a sticker sheet and an activity, um, uh, activity workbook. And just a couple of little bits for Easter that she can play with. And then I didn't remember. need to keep looking at that sheet. So I've turned you around. Um, well, the plan for Sunday is to... Um, I don't think my husband's in. So either Saturday or Sunday, um, we're going to be going at my parents. Um, so whichever day we do our Easter, she'll get her bucket. And then she'll, she'll start with one little leg in there that she'll open up. And it'll have a picture of something. And she'll have to work out what it is. And it'll lead her to the next little plastic egg. There'll be a picture in that which will lead her to the next plastic egg. And then finally, the final plastic egg will take her to her big big Easter egg. So um, hopefully she'll like that. But the ones that I bought, we bought from Asda, the ones that were in that bag that you saw me packing away into the box. Um, I'm probably going to hide them in the garden and she can take her bucket out and she can collect them as well. Um, I don't like the fact that Easter encourages binging on chocolate as much as I like to myself I don't like that it I want Rosie to have healthy habits unlike us so um I don't want it, her to know it's the the chocolate holiday that she gets to binge on chocolate um so I want it to be more about excitement springtime and um hunting and new life and stuff I want to make it more about that so Rosie will hunt for the eggs out in the garden she'll probably do that several times she did last year she said hide them again hide them again and she wanted to go around and do it again and then she wanted to hide them and we had to find them so there's all sorts of ways around that but as well as visiting family um that will probably be at easter so i'll keep you guys updated in the week with the activities we do and i'll probably post tuesday or wednesday now and then probably on saturday like i have been um Saturday tends to be my prep day, but this week we'll still be going. So I'll do my prep day probably next Monday evening so I can show you what I've got for my money sheets. So for now, um, I hope this helps you out with some ideas, uh, especially if you're like me and you like creating your own stuff and your own sheets. I haven't laminated any of these. These are going to be a one-time thing. They're not to be reused next year. They are just, I don't mind drawing them out again next year. They're just for her to do. I can put them in her folder for proof of what we're doing, proof that she's learning um, with this new register coming up, um, having to register all homeschoolers. I'm not still clear on all the details, so if you ask me, I don't, won't necessarily know if you comment below. Um, but I am aware that we need to start making sure that whoever's going to come and visit our house, that we've got something I could throw in their face and go, look, I'm not just sitting here with her in a box whilst I watch television. Um, we are learning. Um, I could go on a little rant about the whole new register thing, but I won't in this video, maybe in another one. So this is Rosie making her Easter basket. Um, anyone who's doing this with a less than dexterous three-year-old this particular one um open the packet and sew the basket first because um it took me ages to sew it and then she got impatient waiting for the stickers so rosie is ignoring the instructions of how to decorate it can i show them your basket and this is rosie's basket so far and she's decorating it as you can see and she's going to stick some more stickers on so yeah this is Rosie's Easter basket. So for now, I will say if you um, like my prep videos, please give them a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. For now, it's Tatar from me and Tatar from the Rosie Bear.